the idea of the angle and the story would like crush Martha. Like Martha would have gotten so upset. And he like said, Vince, I can't do that to my wife. And bro, like this is Owen telling me. On that same course of uh, just tribute and just giving people honor uh, despite their deaths in the pro wrestling community, we're going to talk about Owen Hart. And so, of course, there was a tragic death. Um, yeah, wow, it's been 22 years, right? Was it something. May of 99? Yeah, something like I think that. it was. Wow, <laughs> that's a long, a long time. And so, yeah, of course, uh, you know, many of us know, and you were at your, you're at the tail end of your time in WWE at the time, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you ended, you left in 99, the end of 99, right? I left around September. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, um, to, to continue his legacy, AEW recently made an announcement that uh, they're partnering with with Mark, with Martha and the Owen Hart Foundation to have a, a tournament, an annual tournament called the Owen, where they're going to have a, a trophy and now he's going to have merch and you know original merch and he's going to be a part of the uh, game so aw is really making some huge strides to uh really continue the, the legacy of owen hart i know vince russo you have a lot to share working with owen hart and uh your time with him yeah chris yeah let's talk about this because maybe you can um enlighten me and smarten me up about a few things but um i uh acts um bro listen i say a lot of things on this show um that a lot of people won't say mm -hmm. okay chris you and i um this, this this is the one thing that stands out when it comes to you know bro you always hear the river and you know hysterical yeah. to be around it yeah of, of course we all know that yeah. but i gotta tell you something chris because this was what really you know meant the most to me Chris, you and I both um, respect our wives so much mm -hmm. and the sanctity of marriage so much. Mm -hmm. And, bro, I'm going to tell you, you know, Chris, when I was on the road, everybody was cheating on their spouses. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, people you wouldn't believe would cheat on their spouses – were cheating on their spouses and i i i always used to you know take a back seat and look at this because i knew when i was at tv you know my kids were small at the time i'm at tv i'm working and i know my wife by herself is at home taking care of the kids doing everything mm -hmm. and to me it was the idea of my wife raising my kids and then going out on the road and cheating on her without her ever knowing it, to me, that would would have been such a level of disrespect. I might as well have just spit in my wife's face. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be honest with you. That's how I felt about a lot of the boys. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it was, it, it's almost, it's almost like it was, high school you know like what do they say when the mouse is away the cat will play or the yeah. cat whatever <clears throat> when the cat's away the mouse will play and, and bro it it i gotta tell you chris that disgusted me mm -hmm. and bro i swear i can sit here and tell you uh the the only um the only person like that i knew that was loyal loyal through and through was owen hart Mm -hmm. I knew that about him. I knew about his love for Martha. I knew about his love for his kids. And that was one thing, bro, that really, really stood out to me. You know, bro, it's it's funny, Chris. Um, there was a time when he was together. It was him, Jeff, and Deborah. Okay. Okay. And, bro, I came up with the idea, and I'll tell you exactly why I came up with the idea. I came up the idea with the idea that Owen would have a crush on Deborah. <laughs> now, the reason why I came up with that idea, bro, was because to me, knowing Owen, having a crush on someone that looked like Deborah would have been hysterical. Mm 
Yeah. Like it would have been, it, Owen would have been hysterical in that role. So, bro, like we had discussed it, and I'll never forget, bro. He came up to me at 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 a TV, and uh, he just said to me, he goes, Vince, he goes, this story I did, you know, with Deborah and everything, and he says, bro, this this the the idea of the angle and the story would like crush Martha, like Martha would have gotten so upset, and he like said, Vince, I can't do that to my wife and bro like this is owen telling me Mm -hmm. so like as soon as owen is telling me like i immediately said to him okay bro then we're not doing it like it's it's that simple and i explained to him i said oh and the reason why i wanted to do it was i just thought you'd be hysterical in that role Mm -hmm. but even a storyline bro that involved him having a crush oh vince i can't do that you know and i was like man bro like this is a real this is a real this is a real man like this is a real man and uh, that that's the one thing like that i'll always remember about him bro that always always sticks out i i don't want to get into like that night and all that stuff bro but that's when i get so upset because i had that experience with me where he came up to me and felt totally comfortable about saying bro like and and bro, right there on the spot, I said, bro, then we're not doing it. Like mm-hmm. it, it, we just won't do it. It's mm-hmm. that simple. That's why, bro, I get very, very, very upset when you know we we you know the last thing that he did, Chris. I don't know if you know this or not, but I got to tell the story quickly, yeah. okay? Because I know you and me are both Christian men. Oh yeah. And bro, like I really do believe uh, when it's time. Like it's time and it's going to happen. Chris, I've literally, and th- this is the worst thing that anybody can ever say to me. And many people have said it to me that they, they, they've, ac- I, I still to this day, bro, get, you know, texts and messages and this and that about how I killed Owen Hart. Mm. Chris, I got to tell you something, bro. That show was written it was done i was in my office bro it was probably like i want to say probably like a thursday night and bro it was like six seven o'clock at night i had the show in front of me and bro i'm dotting the i's and i'm crossing the t's Mm -hmm. okay the show was written it was done Bro, I get a call from um, a guy that was, you know, a, a WWE lifer. You might know the name, but he, he started the company with Vince. The guy's name was Steve Taylor. Mm-hmm. And Steve was in charge of all operations. Mm-hmm. He ran everything. Okay. Bro, I'm sitting at my desk. I got this show in front of me, and Steve calls. And Steve says to me, Vince, the guys that rig Sting, they want to come out to the pay-per-view and and show us what they can do. Mm-hmm. Is there anything on the show that they might be able to do? So, bro, when he said that to me, I, I went, I started, it was right in front of me, I started going down the show, and I saw Owen as Blue Blazer. And I said, Oh, well, shoot, that would be like a great entrance for Owen. It would be really, really special for Owen. Mm -hmm. So I said to Steve, I said, yeah, I mean, Steve, if they want to repel Owen as the Blue Blazer, that would be a great gimmick for Owen. But what I'm saying, Chris, is it wasn't written. Mm -hmm. It it, it didn't mean anything to the show. Mm -hmm. It was written once Steve called me, right? So... We, you know, we decide that's what we're going to do, okay? And, bro, like, I I always hear stories of Owen didn't want to do it. He was afraid to do it, but he was afraid to say something because, you you know, bro, if you don't want to do something, then it's going to hurt your spot, this and that. Bro, I had the relationship with Owen where he had just told me about Deborah, mm-hmm. and I said, no big deal. This wasn't even written into the show. So if Owen would have said to me at any time, Vince, I'm afraid of heights. Vince, bro, okay, then we won't do it. It's mm-hmm. not It's not important, yeah. you know? 
And bro, I'll never forget like that day. I'll never forget it, bro. That day where by the um we're by the coffee urn, you know, there's, you know, big coffee urns and Owen was in the orange jumpsuit. Mm -hmm. He had already rehearsed it. So I said to him, I said, Owen, how did everything go? He said, bro, he, he said, Vince, everything went great. He said, no problem. He goes, the only thing I'm going to ask you to do is can you just change the orders? He says, you've got to have me come out first because if uh, Godfather comes out first and then I repel, I'm going to be hanging there and he's going to be able to just beat the crap out of me. Mm -hmm. Can you just change orders? Mm -hmm. I said, oh, yeah, bro, absolutely. You know, no problem. I'll just go back. We'll change everything. Mm -hmm. Bro, never, Vince, I really don't want to do this. I'm afraid. Like he had already rehearsed it mm -hmm. and everything was cool. Mm -hmm. And that's why, bro, it's like the way that, thing went down with you know steve taylor calling it like it was like bro it was like just almost in the cards i i, I mean and I, i'll get crucified for saying that but bro that's the way it went down yeah and and you know bro the fact of the matter is like i i loved this guy with all my heart and soul this bro i swear to god you know like you say there are people like if if you ever had any issue with this one guy, bro, something's wrong with you. Yeah. Like there is, there is no way in the world you could ever have any kind of an issue, you know, with Owen. So, you know, bro, it is something I've I've never forgotten. It is something I've always had to live with. It's 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 uh, it, it's it's always been. I, I I've never forgotten. You know, yeah. bro, sometimes people pass and we forget, and I've never forgotten this.